Mi Harmo Donald, Dime Somatario Uno, keep watching Transit TV and Stermo for premium content. So, Otra I'm vez, I'm adios. I'm Touch Kumakyo, keep watching Transit TV. Transit TV here, my name is Victor Harrison and this is match day 6. Now we had exciting fixtures in the MPFL and of course we'll be giving you the roundup of some of the games that happened at the MPFL in today's match day. First off, we were live at the Nest of Champions, uh, the game involving Aqua United and Cano Pillars. It was a really special moment for both Aqua United fans and Cano Pillars fans. Uh, for the Cano Pillars fans, they witnessed you know, the legend who just returned back to the MPFL talking about Amen. Musa and of course uh, Sheo Abdullahi. Aqua United won this particular game by two goals to nothing. Co goals coming in from the new newly signed centre back Endurance and of course Friday Apollos coming from the bench to seal the victory for Aqua United in this particular fixture. Uh, it was a really really uh, interesting game as Aqua United huffed and puffed. This victory for Aqua United takes Aqua United to 16th place on the log. The next game involving Remo Stars and Nasra United uh, Remo Stars, you know, at halftime, the game ended uh, uh, in the first half nil-nil, but in the second half, it was like a resurgent Remo Stars team. They came with all fire and all power to ensure that they get a 3 new victory over National United. Now, goals coming in from Sikiru Alimi, who has failed to find the back of night a couple of times this season, but somehow he was able to get a goal finally. You know, he was among the top scorers last season for Remo Stars. And of course, uh, Stanley Joseph finding the back of the net for the first time for Remo Stars this season and it was really really an interesting game and for their fans as well because they played right behind their fans in Ikene and of course that man Sadiq Ismail he can't stop scoring he can't stop scoring Sadiq Ismail got a perfect and sweet goal for Remo Stars to seal up the victory three goals and three points and that means Remo Stars moved top of the table on the log next game is Castina United up against Rivers United it ended in a barren draw and uh, Casino United have failed to get the victory over Rivers United who remain unbeaten so far after six games played in the MPFL. This result means that Rivers United are now second on the log behind Remo Stars after six matches played so far this season. Other results in the MPFL as we saw Ikorodu City defeat Bender Insurance by three goals to nothing and that was Ikorodu City's first victory in the MPFL season. Sunshine Stars triumphed over Enugu Rangers after defeating them by a goal to nothing. Abia Warriors in a rescheduled game defeated Quarry United also by a goal to nothing. Bayasa United and Plato United played out a one new victory in that particular fixture. Economy Warriors and Heartland ended up in a goalless draw. Niger Tornadoes and Lobistad ended in a 1-1 draw. Shooting Stars and Aimba also played out a new new draw. Now we look at the MPFL table as it stands after match day six as Remo Stars top the table with 15 points after they've had five wins and just one loss after six games so far this season. R Rivers United are second with 14 points, four wins, two draws and yet they are yet to lose any game. Aimba in third positions. Aimba in third position with 13 points. Social Stars in fourth place with 10 points. And the Rangers in fifth place with 10 points. I'll give you the bottom five. We have Aqua United in 16th place with five points. Quarry United in 17th place with five points. Heartland in 18th place with five points. Lobby Stars in 19th place with five points. And Ikorodo City bottom of the table 28th with just four points. Keep watching Transit TV as we give you more updates and videos about the Nigerian Professional Football League.